Hi guys, it's Rachel Miller with Color Splash. Hope you guys are doing great today. Well, it's time. I am making a painting for my mother, but I am also almost out of memory space on my phone. So I am going to have to talk and paint quickly. And I think I have a little bit of an issue with surprise, surprise, leveling of my table. However, I have put down a pearl base, which is a base that contains both satin enamel and acrylic paint. And I am getting ready to put a lot of bright, bright colors on it with the hopes that I get a black and white and, well, a black and white piece with lots of pops of color. So now it's time for the fun stuff. I'm going to start with a big giant wallop of my Payne's Gray. Classic, beautiful color. I'm just going to do a big cross across the canvas. Now this does not need to be perfect by any stretch. Okay, this is all gonna get blown out, so there's no need for, for perfection. Although sometimes I feel like we all strive for that. And now I'm going to add what I have left of my Amsterdam sky blue paint. I don't have a lot, but what I have, I am absolutely going to add to this. This is a beautiful color. I don't know if that's a glob, so I'm gonna cut that out. So there's some Amsterdam sky blue. Really pretty color. This paint is much thicker than the others. It's been sitting in a closet and I should have probably watered it down, but I didn't. So next, I'm going to go a little bit crazy and put down some vermilion orange. This is another favorite color of mine. You know, sometimes it's really fun to use. Other times it doesn't work out exactly as I plan, but I have a good feeling about this one. I've had some duds today. Well, I wouldn't call them duds, but they're just not what I was aiming for. And I have a good feeling about this piece. I think we're going to have a little bit of success here. I'm going to put down a little bit more of the orange there, a little bit more of the orange there. Then I'm immediately going to jump and grab my Amsterdam turquoise. And I'm going to add that right to my vermilion. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of it, well, maybe a lot of bit of it, through here. This is um, much thinner than the sky blue I just put down. Ideally, it's better to have your paints, you know, of matching consistencies, but that doesn't always happen. So now I'm going to grab, oh, I'm so torn. Okay, I'm going to get a little funky. I'm going to grab this parakeet green color I just made last night. I made it from an uh, unusual um, Amsterdam color, possibly called moss green, that I then mixed. Um, I mixed it with... Um, Artist Loft Soft Body White, kind of 50-50 until I got this really cool parakeet green color that I'm really digging right now. And I have the feeling that magenta is going to look really cool with this parakeet green color. So I am going to grab my magenta. This is just an Amsterdam primary magenta. And I'm going to lay some of that down right with my parakeet. My paints have been thickening up. We've been standing here for hours now. 
Okay, I'm also going to add a streak of it coming through here. And I definitely want a good amount towards the center. So I'm gonna put that down. Whoops. That should be plenty. Next, I am going to grab my Amsterdam Persian Rose and I am going to add that up here with my primary magenta. I'm gonna add a little bit here, kind of building like little mini snowmen. This is a fun color. I might do a, a little cross of it through here. Just see what happens, not a heavy amount. Okay, a couple little dots, there we go. Now, I definitely need a little splashy yellow. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Naples yellow. I'm kind of going right over my snowman, right next to my parakeet green with the Naples yellow. And then right over top of it, I'm grabbing my cadmium yellow. And these two are really gonna help each other shine. The combination of these two yellows works great. And this is cadmium yellow, medium hue by Liquitex Basics. Oops. And it's highly reactive, so you don't need very much of the cadmium yellow. And then, although I wasn't planning to, I'm gonna add a couple little drips, not a lot, just a couple little drips of my Deco Art 24 karat. That's enough. It sometimes has an odd reaction with my particular pearl mix, so I often avoid it. Did I use my permanent red violet? I don't think so. Okay, time for a little bit of permanent red violet. Definitely goes well with the turquoise, the vermilion, and the magenta. So, gotta get that in my crisscross and maybe a little bit of a splotch. In fact, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two fairly large splotches. And then I am going to cover them with what I have left of my Pevio bronze. That's gonna be really pretty. And this is definitely sliding one direction. Let me kind of tilt this a little bit the opposite direction, opposite and down. Get this back towards center. Okay. I think I am really happy with this. I don't think I'm missing any colors. I think I may just want a little bit more. A little bit more of the turquoise. And a little bit more of the magenta and we'll be good to go with some cell activator. And I think I'll put a little bit of the magenta right on these dots. And perhaps just a wee bit of the Persian rose to finish out my little ombre of pinks. Okay, now I'm going to try to quickly move these cups of paint out of the way so that they don't end up covered in the paint I'm about to blow all over the place. Very, very important. I will probably be scraping my counter at some point tonight. Let me just put down a little bit more of that parakeet color. Okay, moving these quickly, quickly. 
All right, now it's time to add my cell activator. So I'm gonna go right in the center and make a big circle. I need a good bit of this so that it floats over the entire painting. And what I'm trying to do is to get all these colors, the black, to go over top of all these colors and then the colors pop through the back black. It's a great way to get cells without silicone and lots of lacing and cool, cool effects. So this should be more than enough to get the effect I'm going for. I move these out of the way. Grab my blow dryer and on the cool setting, I'm gonna start on low, but we'll see. I'm gonna start spreading this center out a little bit, stretching it slightly. And then I'm gonna angle it out and try to, hang on one second. I am not happy with the activator. I'm actually gonna switch to one I made earlier. This is just slightly thicker cell activator. I think it's gonna do a better job floating. Okay, just have a feeling about this. And I think I'm gonna switch to high and be prepared for a big mess. Wow. moly what an explosion of color right oh my goodness okay so this is already turning out better than I had hoped and I got very lucky that my pearl mix did not just get completely flooded with a zillion colors of paint flying off the table I'm making a holy mess with everything that I touch, but I'm good with that because I am having some really cool stuff happening on my table. What I'm gonna do right now is I've got way more paint than I need. I don't really wanna tilt, so I'm gonna take my straw and I'm gonna blow some of the excess straight off of here. opening up a few more pearl cells as I go. I mean, I cannot wait to take you guys in to see this. I'm really probably going to mostly leave this alone because it is just so cool. The combination of colors, especially in one area in particular, the Payne's Gray mixed with the bronze and gave me a color I've never quite seen before. I'm so stoked to take you guys in to see this. I kind of made a mistake by not putting this up on anything to level it, or not to level it, but to pull it up off my cake stand, which was an error I think I'm gonna try to correct very quickly. That way I can scrape the edges. Let's see, I might need a helping hand. Hey, honey! Oh, this is one moment. I wish I had somebody standing next to me to help. Hey, honey. Darn it, he's outside. All right, I'm gonna have to try to do this myself. I have gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this myself. I'm gonna lift this. 
going to quickly put down a few cups. They're sticking to my super wet gloves. Okay. I think I may have been... Aha! I did it. Woohoo! I hope you guys can still see what's going on now that I've lifted this a little bit. I'm actually going to take you down off my stand as soon as I'm done scraping this and show you what's going on. Oh my gosh. I am so stoked. Okay, let me take these disastrous gloves off immediately. Holy moly. This may turn out to be one of my favorites. Okay, guys. Look at the pearl cells developing here. Let me show you the color that is just outrageous. Let's find it, shall we? It's right around the next corner, but check out these insane pearl cells. Holy moly, the lacing. Now look at this outrageous color right there on the edge. It's like where the bronze and the Payne's gray have mixed. It's just giving me this like really cool glow coming through this blue, really into it. And then these big, beefy, juicy pearl cells. I'm sorry, I'm turning this so quickly. I just know my camera is going to go out on me and this video will end possibly quite abruptly but look at the organic flow to this i'm so glad i decided to put my blow dryer on high that parakeet green color is really cool these pearl cells are quickly growing in and eating through that black center although the black is still giving some movement and negative space to the piece. I mean, I, I could not be more excited about how this turned out. And I definitely want to get it to a truly level surface as soon as I possibly can. Focus, focus. Please focus. My phone has been fighting with me all day. I just so desperately want y'all to see what I'm seeing. I know I'm not Southern. I don't know why I say y'all. My family make fun of me, makes fun of me for that all the time. I don't know where I picked that up. Possibly in college, I had a roommate who was from the South. Look at this section, this color. Holy moly. Wow. Well, I hope you guys had a good time watching me produce this. I hope you try it yourself. It's a really fun process with the pearl base underneath and your regular acrylics on top and a little cell activator really can create some beautiful artwork. I'm excited to give this to my mom. Her birthday's in two days and I hope she likes this as much as I do. Thank you so much for all your support. This is a new channel and your support has just meant so much to me. This artwork is truly like therapy for me and the surprises that it provides every time you turn on the blow dryer or swipe the paint is just like everything for me. So please click like and subscribe and have happy times painting at home. Thank you so much, guys. This is Rachel Miller for Color Splash. Bye.